Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install my speed on dockage. So, a little bit about this series and going over home labs, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, Let's get back to your registered programming. So, uh, this is what we'll be installing today. It's called MySpeed. It's a speed test analysis software that, that stores internet speed tests up to 30 days. And then, uh, here's some features. Generates clear statistics on speed, ping, and more. Automate speed test. Allows you to set time between with Chrome expressions. Add multiple servers uh, directly to the My, My Speed instance. Configure health checks and notify on these services of errors and downtime. And, and then test results stored up to 30 days. And then uh, here's some uh, screenshots of it. The home page, the statistics view, the server selection, the drop down a me a menu, and then the page during the speed test. So that's what we'll be installing today. So we'll be starting on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to scroll down to um, how to install MySpeed on Dockage right here. And then I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So a uh, version 3 of Docker Compose is being used. And then the services and the service underneath the service called MySpeed. The image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. And this is the Docker image and it's using the latest tag by default. The port mapping is set to 5216 on the host. So on the left side of volumes and ports are host side. And on the right side is the container side. So 5216 on the container. And then the MySpeed da data right here is a local volume on the host side. And on the container is MySpeed data. And um, I'm going to say restart policy is unless stopped. So that means that if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then we're going to define the uh, the local volume right here. So um, the, the driver is local, as you can see. So now I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over my dockage and get this installed. So now I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go over here to compose. And then I'm going to give it a stack name. So I'm going to do my speed stack. And then once you give it a name, you can move over to the editor now. So I'm going to uh, take this out. And then I'm going to paste in what I explained in the Docker Compose on the Big Bear Video Assets. So now once you paste it in, you can go over here and you can see what it done. It auto populated over here. So you can change things over here and then it'll change it over here as well. So I'm going to deploy and it's deployed and successfully up and running. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now once you're on your, uh, your dockage, you can see active right here. You can see the exited and the inactive. You can also um, go over here to your stacks and you can see all your stacks once you have more in here. So I'm gonna go into my stack. So you can edit, restart, update, stop, and stop and down. And then you can delete the stack. So when you go in the stack edit, you can add containers to this stack right here, the, uh, the Docker Compose. And um, you can go, you can come down here and edit things, and then it'll edit over here. And you can also delete the container out of the stack. Or you can come down here and add URLs. You, you can add internal networks and external networks. So uh, you can set uh, save your changes, or you can stop them down, or you can discard your changes. So um, you can restart the stack. And this could take a little bit. So it's restarted successfully. 
So you can update your stack, and this will update the uh, the container tag, and pull it down from the registry and get the local cache updated, and then push it out again or re redeploy it. And uh, you can stop it, stop and down and delete. So now uh, you can also see the containers down here, and you can go to the UI from this port right here. You can also go into the container terminal right here, the bash. But uh, you can go in the SH right here, and then uh, and now you can see the container. So I'm going to go backwards to stack. So now you can see your logs down here. You can see the Docker Compose right here. You can't edit it over here, though. Or you'll have to do it over here in the edit screen. So um, that's a little bit about the uh, stack options. So I'm going to start on Dockage homepage. I'm going to go to the stack and then I'm going to go into here to where you click on the port and you go to the UI. So it's going to say we need permission. Uh, it uses the Ocular network to do the speed test. So you can accept. So now you can see a, a nice UI of ping, download, upload, and lo last test. You can start a speed test right here and uh, and it's going to use the speed test servers to do this. So it's going to take a little bit. Okay, and that, now it's come in. So it has a, a, a ping, a download now, and an upload, and the last test that was done. Um, so you can go over here. You can see optimal ping. And um, you can ch ch uh, change that. You can ch change the optimal up speed and the optimal down speed. And you can also go into other recommendations. You can change the speed test server, change the password, change the, the frequency of the test. And um, you can go and set per a period, a show test to the last 24 hours, two days, seven days, 30 days. You can also export the test. You can pause the test. You can see the integrations of what you can use. So Discord. And um, you can also um, change the language. You, you can switch the views around so you can have a more detailed view now. And it shows you uh, the test overview, the last ping, the, the, the last test, I mean, and then the failed test, and then speed up and down, the, ma the manual test, uh, test duration, the pings, the download values, the upload values, so, and then you can see the about the project. So, that's a little bit about MySpeed UI. So, I just showed you step by step on getting MySpeed running on Dockage. So, uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.